have come to Liverpool's Doubletree Hotel to meet its multi-millionaire owner, Dr. Marwin Kukash, or Mr. Chester, as he calls himself, ahead of Chester's May meeting, and crucially, the Chester Cup, a race that he's won four times in just over a decade. So this is the Kukash restaurant. A self-made entrepreneur, Dr. Marwan Kukash previously owned rugby league club, the Salford Red Devils, but his biggest passion is horse racing and his favorite track is most definitely Chester. Marwan, can you tell us the story of how you came to falling in love with Chester and the Chester Cup itself? It probably started a few months earlier when um, I got uh, forced to go to uh, a race meeting at Haydock. And I went towards the end of the season, uh, and I enjoyed the experience, and I thought it would be even better had one of us had a horse. So I ended up buying a horse, and two weeks later running it in, uh, in, in Haydock's uh, last uh, flat meeting of the year. And although the horse started as favorite, it finished last. And I remember Ian Williams going to the um, new market sales in October, horses in training, he says to me, um, there's a good horse here, um, you know, that could take you uh, to nice places, including Chester. Uh, he's a bit of a monkey. And I remember I said, I don't want a monkey, I want a horse that <laughs> runs and doesn't finish last. And he bought a horse called Bulwark. So the following May, we took it to the Chester Cup. And he was totally the, the total outsider. I think he was a 66 to 1. In the morning, I ended up sitting on the fence or standing on the fence six deep and I couldn't see anything. I heard the name Bulwark quite a lot because he was sitting last. And it's tilt now and Sam Tyler Bullock in the grey jacket has sprinted from the back of the field with a visor on the first time. Bullock up on the outside with Jim Crowley hang over the inside but win to Sam Tyler tilt double banded. At the end of the race, there was a lot of commotion. Still, I didn't know who won the race. And, but I heard the word bulwark, or, or the name bulwark, quite a few times. So I asked the guy next to me, I said to him, who won? He said, bulwark, and he thought his betting slipped down. I went, yay! And I, I couldn't believe it. I fell in love with the sport, and I fell in love with Chester. The, the Chester experience was something really very, very special as well. You get close to the horses, the atmosphere is good. You know, for race goers, for owners was fantastic they looked after us and you know that's what made me even for but winning the race you know their biggest race and if you can't fall in love with racing after winning a big race you'll never fall in love with it a dress unknown pokes his white nose in front but he's inclined to wander across the track the great tominator flying home from the rear simnon runs on behind ingleby spirit but signed sealed delivered spencer wins the chester cup for kukash Suju together with Angel Gabriel, who's carrying right across the track, drifting badly right. Suju coming back at Angel Gabriel, the two together, and Suju beats Angel Gabriel from Marwan Kukash 1 2. But here goes Magic Circle now, sweeping through to take over. Magic Circle powers to the front, draws away from Funmark and Dubawi 50. Fran Berry has pulled the rabbit out of the hat here, and Magic Circle runs riot to win the 188 Bet Chester Cup. I became addicted to it. I became addicted to winning Chester, but in particular, uh, addicted to winning the Chester Cup. Luckily, I won it now four times, and I enjoy saying to people, nobody's ever won it more than twice except me, and I've won it four times. The most memorable for me is last year's. That's fresh in my memory, with Magic Circle winning, because that threat of you stripping down to your undies or pink thong, what are you to be specific. Well, Richard Thomas was worried. <laughs> He was very worried, and uh, uh, he came and after the I was going to do it. You know, I'm a cra crazy, you know, I'm, I'm not uh, totally there, <laughs> up there altogether. Uh, but it's through passion I'd do anything, and I, I really wanted to do that. And uh, I remember Richard saying to me after the race, but why you can't do this, you'll destroy me. <laughs> do you know why if, if I wanted this year again, Richard, you better have better security officers because nothing is going to stop me. Still the same colour, maybe go for grey this year, pink I'm, and grey. I mean, that seems to be a theme for you. Well, I think... <laughs>
it's not going to be G-string, it's going to be shorts. I think I, I need to be a bit more conservative with it being Chester and uh, there's a lot of old ladies there, etc. So it's going to be just boxing shorts, yeah. The trainer responsible for trying to provide Marwan Kukash with an unprecedented fifth Chester Cup is Ian Williams. He's already trained two winners of the race for him. And this year, he's preparing last year's winner, Magic Circle, a new recruit, Shabib. We bought him in the summer of last year out of um, Roger Varian's and he'd shown the ability to stay. And he's come to us in excellent physical condition. Um, he's been impressing on the gallops and doing everything we ask of him. So um, we're really looking forward to having a crack at a, at a third Chester Cup for us and um, I think a fifth one for Marwan um, in May. So, yeah, something nice to look forward to. He's a big unit to be going round Chester, um, but I'm sure the trip will help him. And um, he stayed a mile and six nicely at Newmarket. I don't see any problems with the two miles two round Chester for him. And he's, he's a very well balanced and um, good mover, so those things will help. He's a lovely big horse, um, really fine stamp for horse, and uh, gave me a lovely feel of the gallop this morning. Just done a nice swinger up, done it really easy. Um, I think he, he, he should uh, he should be spot on for the day. Ian's gallop is a great gallop and halfway through it there's a, a quite a steep hill. Um, a lot of horses find it hard work up there but he came up over the brow of the hill really easy this morning and that's always a good sign. Marwan loves Chester, he loves his, um, he loves his horses racing there. His racing passion has come from Chester and he enjoys having runners there in any of the meetings, any of the races, but obviously has a huge passion for the Chester Cup. And take us back to that day last year when Magic Circle won. You had him in the, you knew you had him in great form going mm -hmm. there. I think you were confident, but I don't think you expected quite the performance I, you got. No, I think um, he'd run fifth, I think, the year before and run very well from not a particularly good draw. And um, you, you, know, you have to be lucky around Chester. You have to have some luck. It's a very tight track, so you have to end up in the right position and the gaps have to open. It was a great achievement by horse jockey, owner trainer from the team here everybody who put any effort into magic circle it was a it was a just reward how do you think you're perceived by your fellow owners because some of the owners in in british racing particularly can be quite reserved quite traditional they're very reserved a lot of them are but this is me you know i'm uh, uh, i'm that sort of character i don't put it on i'm the same in rugby league i'm the same in business uh you know i I want to enjoy winning moments the way I want to enjoy it, not the way it's dictated to me. Your passion is reflected in your flamboyancy and what you do. And we saw that last year when you paraded the trophy, the Chester Cup. Uh huh. It was like winning the FA Cup. You took exactly. it Exactly. Exactly. But footballers are allowed to parade around with their shorts and without their uh, t shirts. So why can't I? What will you do then this year then? I promise you, uh, if I win the Chester Cup this year, Chester will see a very unique celebration. And maybe Richard, if you're watching this, mate, maybe you'll start regretting the, that I have ever been to Chester and, and fell in love with the Chester Cup.